By the fall of 1994, the Clinton presidency was at its lowest ebb. Weakened by scandal and the defeat of healthcare, Clinton was about to be challenged by a new and formidable rival. I am a genuine revolutionary. They are the genuine reactionaries. We are going to change their world. They will do anything to stop us. They will use anything. Brimming with self-confidence, Georgia Congressman Newt Gingrich had spent more than a decade planning his assault on the Democratic Party. He was a giant personality. He was one of the, the best uh, policy walks and, uh, and thinkers of new ideas uh, around. You know, Clausewitz said, that war is politics by other means. Newt thought the reverse was true, that politics was war by other means. Gingrich's ultimate goal was nothing less than a dismantling of what he called the liberal welfare state. He would begin by trying to break the Democrats' 40-year stranglehold on the House of Representatives in the upcoming midterm elections. We had some people that were not satisfied to just passively go along with being in an abused, mistreated minority. And there were a lot of Republicans that had been in the minority for so long, they thought, this is where we belong, and this is okay if they'll just give us a crumb or two. Uh, Newt started rocking the boat. Gingrich decided that the best way to achieve a Republican victory in the midterms was to run against Clinton. Republican candidates across the country morphed their Democratic opponents into the president. Look at Congressman Tim Johnson's voting record. It looks just like Bill Clinton's liberal agenda. When Clinton the plan was to nationalize the election. Newt saw fundamental flaws in the Democratic Party's relationship with the American electorate, and he wanted to develop and exploit those and run a campaign based on that. I now declare the polls open. One of the big questions of the day is whether the Republicans have been successful in turning this election into a referendum on Bill Clinton as they had wanted. Our exit polls are turning up bad news all over the country for President Clinton and his party. I had called a friend at NBC to find out what the 130 exit polls look like. And she told me, well, Tony, I actually haven't seen the ex 130 exit polls. They're holding them back. Apparently, you guys are doing so well that there must be something wrong with the polling. That was the beginning of, of a hopeful evening that turned into a glorious one. This is truly a wildly historic night. I mean, this is just, you know. The Republican revolution of election 94 shook Capitol Hill like an earthquake today. Its reverberations went into state houses and moved the whole political landscape sharply to the right. By the end of the night, Republicans had picked up 54 seats in the House and eight in the Senate, winning control of both chambers of Congress.